This is a Linux laptop with three things plugged in. A USB mouse, an HDMI dummy plug, and a power cable. We're going to show how we can seamlessly switch back and forth between Windows and Linux using virtualization. Let's turn it on. First we log in. Then I'm going to open a terminal to check the status of my graphics card. I'm going to type in how's my GPU. It's going to say my NVIDIA graphics are detected in VFIO and my Intel integrated graphics are using the Intel driver. I'm going to enable the NVIDIA graphics and now when I use the same how's my GPU it shows that the NVIDIA dedicated graphics are enabled. Now I can run a benchmarking application and we will successfully use the GPU on Linux. So this could be any graphically intensive uh, game or program that runs on Linux and you can see the audio is working too. And we are running at about 40 FPS, which is what would be expected using OpenGL on Linux uh, with this hardware for this benchmarking application. It looks pretty good. So let's close out of that and see how quickly we can switch to Windows. I'll go ahead and quit there. Close out of the application completely, and then I will run my How's My GPU command. We can see NVIDIA is enabled. I will run NVIDIA disable, and now it has detached my NVIDIA graphics card. I can run How's My GPU again and see that it is disconnected. Then it is time to start up our virtual machine. So I'll start up a virtual machine manager, which is going to require my password. And then it's time to start up my VM. So I'll go ahead and open that. And when I hit play, I can now see that my mouse has been disconnected. So my mouse is uh, passed into the virtual machine right now using EV dev. So I'll press control and control with both uh, keys at the same time. And I've unlocked my mouse. So I can go ahead and minimize that. The next thing I want to do is I want to open up Looking Glass, which enables low latency transfer of frames from the virtual machine into uh, the host operating system. So I'll go ahead and just start Looking Glass. And you can see here, Windows has already started and logged in. So I can pass my mouse and keyboard back into the virtual machine. I can start up the same benchmarking application and have it run inside the virtual machine. Another thing we can do here is I can use hotkeys to switch back and forth between uh, full screen and not. But yeah, we can see the audio is also being passed through um, because the audio is coming through Spice, which was that first window we opened and minimized. So in Windows, this benchmarking application is running uh, a little faster than 50, 60 FPS. So we're getting improved performance here in Windows. And I'm pretty happy with that, that I can essentially seamlessly switch back and forth between Windows and Linux. I'll post a bunch of configuration files and scripts and the command aliases that you just saw down in the description. Um, I hope you understand why I think this is so exciting. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm really excited about this. Uh, I think it's going to make it much easier for people to be able to utilize both the benefits of Windows and Linux and unleash both of those operating systems to the fullest of their capabilities. So thanks for watching and don't forget to stay bland.